This video tutorial will introduce you and provide guidelines on how to build your own Creative Project Canvas, the reflection entrepreneurial tool developed and implemented by Matera Hub Consortium based in Matera, Italy. After explaining the purpose of the Creative Project Canvas, we will provide you with insights, hints and tips on how to use it. The Creative Project Canvas is a strategic entrepreneurial tool to map, develop and plan different ideas, think about the different aspects of the project, find out how to connect with people wishing to see, engage or participate in your project, connect the big picture with the final details of each of the potential stages of the project, calculate the potential impact of the project from different perspectives, Mix what you usually do with some fresh ideas or approaches. The Creative Project Canvas helps you draw a big picture, visualize your project and reflect on past, present and future projects, products and services. It can be used by emerging and new entrepreneurs, start artists and creatives, social and cultural organizations, associations and educational institutions within any business sector and any fields of businesses. The Creative Project Canvas helps you broaden your career horizons, develop an enterprising approach and review, solve problems, plan and scope your project. It is the right tool to kickstart, initiate, develop your project or to review it, assess and identify the state of the art of your project as well as to plan actions and chart your progress. You can use the Creative Project Canvas as an individual reflection tool to explore, visualize and develop your own entrepreneurial idea or project or as a team reflection tool, assisting all members in exploring, planning and managing all main aspects of the shared entrepreneurial project or idea. Thanks to the Creative Project Canvas, you can detail the practical and ethical aspects of your project, as well as reflect on the economical sustainability of your project and on its impacts on you and the others in a short, medium and long term. The Creative Project Canvas includes nine themes and by answering the short key questions in each theme, you will build your Creative Project Canvas. But let us analyze each of the nine themes. Value. This theme will help you explore the value of your project to yourself and others and how you can obtain the benefit of providing that value. Belonging to networks. This theme will help you explore the useful networks you currently belong to or you might join that can provide contacts and resources to create, develop, produce and promote your project. Activities and work. This theme will help you reflect on the main activities and workflow of your project, such as research, preparation, production, marketing, reviewing. Equipment, material and time. Each project is built around these three important elements, including human and material resources and time needed to get them all. Champions. This theme will help you develop and strengthen your own entrepreneurial voice by identifying who can serve you as a guide and champion or as a critic to improve aspects of your work. They may be friends, relatives, mentors, coaches, colleagues, and so on. Access for others. This theme will help you analyze how others can access your work through online and or physical channels. Getting feedback. This theme will help you explore current and potential tools and methods to get feedback about your work or project from everyone who comes or might come into contact with it, including existing and or potential clients, customers, audience and so on. Short-term gains and losses. This theme is about the value of your project to you in the short term and what this project might give you in terms of rewards and losses. Long-term rewards. 
This theme is about more frequent or greater opportunities, larger networks and increased remuneration to invest in future creative works or to increase the reach or impact of the work. There are four main parts to help you visualizing your project. Start from the value theme, which is the core of your project, and write down your answers to the relevant questions. Then, move to the three left themes corresponding to the practical part of your project, including belonging to networks, activities and work, equipment, materials and time, and answer the relevant questions. Then, move to the three right themes corresponding to the external perception of your project, including champions, access for others, getting feedback, and write down your answers to the relevant questions. Finally, finish with the two bottom themes corresponding to your future plans, including short-term gains and losses, long-term rewards, and write down your answers to the relevant questions. Once you have built your first draft version of your creative project canvas, review it regularly to check your progress and or change wherever you have realized needs to be changed, adapted or deleted. Now you are ready to implement your creative project canvas and we are going to suggest some hints and tips related to the nine themes that will help you detail your project and make it real. Your project value. Some examples of answers related to the value for you might include freedom, being useful, inspiration, ambition, independence, becoming a brand. Some examples of answers related to the value for others might include enjoyment, experience, inspiration, networking, personal development. Exploring networks. Develop contacts in your local area by letting people know about you and your product or service and build up your local network with small and medium enterprises, associations and so on. Find emerging entrepreneurs, support each other and share strategies on how to reach clients. Talk to new people, explore other professional worlds by volunteering or interviewing people. Develop an individual or collective website to profile, discuss and promote past, current and future projects. Travelling is also a great source of learning, offering the opportunity to develop a broader range of contacts. Your project workflow. Think about people. Train partners, staff or yourself. Find people for roles and build the team. Profile users and customers. Planning. List and prioritize what needs to be done and identify who does them. Focus on how much time you need for each activity or item. Identify worrying and save things. Finance and investment. Plan the budget needed for the project. Legal issues. Consider intellectual property rights if applicable and legal advice if needed. Research similar projects. Communication, do marketing, branding, create website and think about targets. Impact, monitor and measure impact of the project and follow up phases. Resources for your project. Equipment and materials are easier to get from different sources rather than raise the money to pay for these. Therefore, consider recycled and donated materials. Borrow things and consider transportation of material, equipment, etc. if applicable. Space. Besides the venue, consider if you need a warehouse. Legal. If applicable, consider intellectual property rights owned or secured. Time needs to be costed in, in terms of financial support or invoicing, along with upfront research and exploration costs. Confirm and improve your project value. You can identify supporters and doubters of your project within your personal and professional networks or contexts, including friends, relatives, family, and local, national and international contacts, opinion leaders, potential stakeholders, investors, sponsors, broadcasters, and so on. Champions can provide backup, guide, promotion and support relations with potential stakeholders such as investors, sponsors, broadcasters and so on. Similarly, if critics pay attention to your work, your work is worthy of their attention. 
They can provide positive criticism and recommendations to improve, change and further develop some aspects of your project. Create easy access to your project. Think about online channels such as social media, Facebook, Instagram or websites. Physical channels such as co-working spaces or venues or physical premises or both, including word of mouth, searching and reaching people, advertising, testimonials and recommendations from previous customers or audience members. Get feedback from customers. Get feedback from public institutions, including mayors, for, for instance, or private NGOs, third sector organizations, including managers, for example. Get feedback from individuals, such as website users, blogs, freelancers. Think about methods of collecting feedback. that may be informal conversations, telephone or online service, focus groups or other immediate indicators, such as social media engagement. Think about different types of approaches to collect feedback. They may be personal, neutral, informal, formal, individual or collective. Explore your short-term gains and losses. Think about the opportunity of increasing contacts and expanding networks, but also gaining credibility, learning and getting more experience, increasing self-confidence and the opportunity to get money in the short term. Losing money at the very beginning is considered as normal alongside a lot of work and stress. Explore your long-term rewards. Think about money, exposure, publicity and establishing your own job or company. Personal and social rewards. Valuing and revitalizing employment in your city and for your community. Widening your market and selling your products, services in more places. Recognition of yourself as a successful entrepreneur. Before building your own Creative Project Canvas, try to lay out your current personal and professional situation, reflecting on your current business idea or project, your personal portrait, your personal and professional perspectives and your financial situation. Enjoy your entrepreneurial journey through the Creative Project Canvas.